All right, Gene and I get ready to hit the beach. We'll sit here and get our clothes on. Look at this. We got a coin spill right here, Gene. We got one, two. I'm sitting looking on the ground saying, Dad, go on. Three coins right here before you can get started. That's a good, what do you think, Gene? Good, good luck, good, good luck. Star. All right, let's get ahead to the beach and see what we do. Here we go. All right, we made it down to the beach here. Looks like to be a nice uh, crowd of depositors today. As you can see, there's Gene in the water right there. We've already got a lot of people in the water. And look at all the people down there. It's been a nice crowd today. It's not even a weekend. All right, we got, uh, I think we got Larry down there right there, man. I right, will go see him in a minute. All right, thank you. Oh, they got a target somewhere. The water just took my scoop away from me. 22, I thought it was high in that, but could be two targets that might have the original target that I was looking for. We got a second one here. I don't know. Not yet. Might be it. Maybe. We got it. Yep, we got it. Something in here. Okay. Ah, I see it right there. I'm not sure what it is. It's a, it's a quarter. I was getting a 30 before. That time it was beeping down in the low 20s. I don't understand that, but anyway, we'll take it. Oh, we just took a quarter right there, another quarter right here. So we are getting a few targets in here. Sometimes somebody can't get a target, but today we're actually getting a few targets. Gene's digging a target right there. So we're definitely getting a few targets in here today. I like it. That means there's some more heavy stuff like gold to be in here. All right, got a little over a dollar. How much you got over here, Gene? I don't know, probably about a dollar. About a dollar. Look, that dollar, but I just got a target. There's a little scratchy target, but it wasn't the right range. I didn't film it because it was crashy, but let's check it out. I think I see a little gold on the edge, Gene. Look at that right there. What do you think, Gene? That looks like That looks like gold right here. I love it. Piece of uh, junk jewelry, I think. Could be sterling silver though. It's got a P on it. Little tiny thing there, man. Give me a good signal. So that could be sterling. It's like something written on back. So we'll check it out at home. I like it. I right, was pretty much a dead low tide, even though the tide's up higher than normal. I think. But that's when you want to be here. Dead low. Hit this. Far as you can go. We're getting the water too, but far as you can go out here on the edge is one of the best spots. There's Gene right there. He's hitting that way. We're going to head down this way right now. We're going north. All right, let's see what we find. All right, just dug another quarter. Three quarter beach, but I found something else on the beach that's interesting right here. Look at that one I found on the beach. <laughs> I didn't have to use a metal detector. John Boy, what are you doing out here today? I'm just checking on your gig master. You got to keep out on the gig master. All right, you, you, have you started yet? I haven't even started. When I saw you, I was getting ready to pack it up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if we find some gold. Here we go. All right, I gotta show you the competition. There's Gene right there. There's another sector there. There's two more right there. That's four. Myself is five. And we got John Boy right there. Six within a block. That's some uh, heavy uh, competition there. Six snow sectors in one block here. I ran across a few more down the other end, so they're all over. Woo, a lot of competition out here. But. There's a lot of ground to cover here, so there's plenty of room for everybody. Uh, you can't cover everything for sure. You can miss something easy, so it's all good. All right, well, let's get back and see what we find. Here we go. All right, the targets have really dried up down on the wet sand, so we'll go hit the dry sand, go back and hit another beach. You know me, maybe three or four more beaches, I don't know. But I just want to show you all real quick. There's no shortage of depositors down here. It's packed pretty good for a weekday. All right, here we go. Let's keep getting up. There, show me some gold, buddy. <laughs> Are you ready? You sitting down? Am I sitting down? There you go. Nice. Is it gold? Oh, no, I doubt it. <laughs> Man, it's pretty Ooh, looking. Charm. Yeah. It'd it be right on that. It's, it's something written on it, man. Is it? Yes. China? It uh, <laughs> could be. No, it's something different. I'll take a picture and check it out because that definitely could be gold there. I like it. 
Beautiful, man. Good around, job on that. Uh, five, you got I one think. other little thing there. Yeah, just jump. What was the number on this? Five, I think. Five. five that's gonna be gold, man. Let Let's in. check it out. Well, that's the first gold we've seen today. Good job, man. I like it. Let's we, go find some more. Ah, here something bigger too. I took my camera, zebra did it. I'll put a picture up here. Zoom in on it. 14k. Congratulations, man. Put it there. All right, man. Let's keep it up. Here we go. All right, buckle up your seatbelt. On the beach too. Let's keep going. Here we go. All right, Gene, you ready to move to another beach? I am. Got a penny there, but uh, we dug a few coins here on this beach, but uh, not a ton. I think I got about five coins so far. How many coins you got, Gene? I probably got about the same. And, about uh, five coins. And you got a uh, vapor thing, right? Yep. And a vapor, so. I just want to start this beach for like 30 minutes. We'll go back down to the other part of the beach real quick and then head out of here, so. Stay tuned. All right, this beach may at least give us a quarter, maybe. As you see, it's bounced around a little bit, but pretty consistent. You get off from a target, it will change the number or something. But let's see what we got here. Yeah, it's gonna be a quarter. You never know; it could be a silver, silver ring or something. But that's one hundred percent a quarter. All right, let's keep it. All right, we're still hanging out here on beach two, and I think I just got a little elephant. Maybe that elephant will give you some good luck here. I think that's what that is. I think it might be sterling too. Maybe. All right. We're going to wait here a little bit longer. Stick to it. I love these vines. You get a hit, you look over, and it's sitting right on top of the ground. Look at that. I love it. It's sitting there. Look at that. All right. Let's pick up a few more coins. We're not leaving this beach quite yet. Stay tuned. All right. Finally got a little shininess in the sand, I think. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yes, a pennant that goes around the neck. I'm not sure what MK. I think that's one of those name brand things or something, maybe. A lot of sparkle on it, but it's going to be junk, I'm sure. I see the copper color on the uh, piece right there. But, yeah, it's fun digging that stuff, too. All right, let's back it up. All right, we've arrived at Beach 3, that last beach. I did get a couple little pennants. I'll show it to close out. And maybe close to a dollar and change, so it wasn't a total loss. Gene, you get anything special with that beach or just the regular? Nothing special. Regular uh, pop-tops. <laughs> regular pop-tops, not special pop-tops. All right, stay tuned. We're going to hit beach three right here. Here we go. Very first target on the walking path before you can get to the beach is a quarter. Maybe that's going to give us some good luck. You ready, Gene? Let's do it. Here we go. A nice 20, which I said is no penny. I don't want to call that, but I do see a little something here. And I've probably got some kind of end on it. It's giving me the hit. Yep, that's what's giving me the hit right there. It's like paws or something. Just a piece. Of, oh, it's coming apart on me. The pieces broke on it, but I, that's where I'm getting a hit on right there. That metal right there. All right, let's back it up. I'm finding a couple coins here and there, but I noticed grid marks on this whole beach. Somebody's been here. I don't know if y'all can see those right in there, but it's grid marks. All oh, anyway, dragged a shovel or something or a scoop and hit this beach hard. I see them all up and down this beach, so I know it's been hit hard. So we're gonna move on to the next beach right now. Here we go. Gene, I just dug these up here. That's a three pack. What do you think about that? What are they? I don't know. We'll have to check them out when we get home. <laughs> Alright, this part of this piece right here has a lot of rebar and concrete right on the surface. When you're ready to check those rock tags, you'll get like a uh, long 15 tone or something. But it's not a consistent tone. It's a long tone, not like a beep, beep. It's a whoop, whoop. The long tone, so that not, that's not going to be good. Like, I'm not going to dig anything like that because of that reason. All this rebar. Alright, we got rebar here. It's in a circle, really good to be seen. But it is some old brick. Look at that brick. That brick there is old, old right there. Woo! Anyway, we're going to keep this catching. Stay tuned. Alright, I come across here. I see two pennies right on top of the ground here. But this is not the first time this has happened to me. <laughs> we got some throwers up here. <laughs> We appreciate all the money you want to throw. <laughs> Alright, let's keep getting up. Here we go. Alright, we're going to call that a wrap. You ready to call it a wrap, Gene? I am. I'm tired. Even the gig master gets tired. But uh, we hit it up all day. Sometimes we go four hours and get a ton of stuff. And sometimes you go, well, we've been here uh, about eight hours, right? <laughs> yeah. 
about eight hours. We got something. Might have a gold ring if I was a betting man, though. I don't know if I bet on it. It was ring a 13 on the knock, which would be a good gold if it was a little bit thicker ring. But this ring is so thin, it's kind of got me questionable. But it may be. Let's get home and check it out and uh, do a little closeout. Stay tuned. All right, we're going to hide this shell. Shell of a good find. We're going to hide it in the uh, side of the tree over here and see if somebody can find it. All right, Gene, do it. Gene, another day in the books. Another day. It was a good day. It was beautiful out there. I got some good exercise today, Gene. We had eight hours of walk. I don't know how many miles I walked. I had to look at my phone, but it was a lot. Let's check out what we got right here. All right, Gene, I dug a little bit of trash today. I think you did too, didn't you? I did. Man, got some... Uh, we got some sinkers. We got our unknown here. We're not going to... This is a family show, so we can't go into too much detail on those, but some people might know what that is. Uh, got some little, these little tiny sinkers here. Over $5 in clad, which I can't believe we got that much clad, but that's a lot of targets not to dig a lot of rings or some other heavy stuff, but didn't dig a whole lot of heavy stuff. Dig a couple of uh, these right here. Uh, uh, zippers. Zippers always give you good stuff. Little tiny stuff, man. You dig that here's another little tiny piece of uh, these are um, rivets dug up now just little stuff that goes to that right there i want to tell you if you're not digging this right here you're not digging the right targets that rings up like a straight six just like a ring would be but i dug up many of them right there but i've dug rings right with them the same number so always dig those low numbers don't forget got a bottle opener mk you know what that stands for some kind of, not Mary Kay, but some other kind of name brand, I think. A little junk pendant right there. This came off of some kind of uh, little bracelet or something. I think this says Pura Vita bracelet on back. So that's off of another little piece of bracelet. That that was some kind of um, little bracelet I found. I think it's got like a paw print or something on it. I'm not sure. See it right there. But, uh, my ring, I went inside and tested it. It held 10K for a while, but eventually started eating. I'm actually thinking this could be like an eight carat ring, uh, gold ring. Cause normally when you get somebody that has plated and you scratch it, you'll see silver come through. This one has no tarnish on it. I mean, it's got the gold look to it, but it didn't hold, it's not 10 carat, I don't think. It, it held it for about uh, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, but it eventually ate it off. But, 14 carat ate it right away, so I know it wasn't that. So, I'm thinking it might be like an 8 carat ring, but we'll have to do a little more testing on that right there. Not bad, though. Gene, you ready to do some digging? Got something for relic hunting. That's not a bad little thing you found there, Gene. I like that. That's probably about $5 in the store. <laughs> <laughs> Over $3 in clad. You got to uh, you dig it one sink. I left you that sinker, Gene, so you could dig that. I appreciate it. <laughs> he walked right behind me and dug that one. And a... Um, Vape. Vape, vapor thing. I think when, once they finish up, they thought they're, they're trash. I, I thought you refilled them or something, but I don't think you do, man. Anyway, we will uh, look at that. And that's, that's beautiful. Isn't it? That's a nice, nice group of stuff right there. All right, I appreciate everybody coming along. I hope y'all enjoy getting out today. I know we got plenty of exercise, that's for sure. All right, stay tuned because you know we're going on some kind of mission tomorrow. And we're looking forward to y'all coming along with us. Don't forget to click like, comment below, share, and subscribe to the Gig Master. See you tomorrow.